What's up you guys, it's Pierre and in this video I'm going to be going through some shoes that I've been using outside of the squash court. That's right, I've been playing pickleball, I've been playing pedal as we call it here in the US, paddle for you guys overseas probably. So I'm just going to show you a few shoes I've been trying and what it's like with these sort of different shoes and different court types and how it all kind of fits together in the shoe department. First up, I'm going to show you the K-Swiss. These are called the Hyper Court Express 2. I got these because a lot of pro pickleball players use the K-Swiss pickleball shoes. These look very, very similar in the photos. The branding looks a little different. They don't say pickleball in big letters on the back. I didn't want to have that on my shoes, so I got a very similar looking shoe to try out. These are pretty heavy relative to other shoes. This one's 415 grams on my scale compared to usually my squash shoes are in like the 350 to 375 range. So these are quite heavy, but they're very sturdy and they're really nice on my knees, which I appreciate on those outdoor courts. I find squash courts are a little more forgiving, the wood, the, the, the softness of the floor compared to like an outdoor pickleball court, which is more like a hardcore tennis surface or even padel, which can be this carpet, but laid down on sometimes on concrete. So I really appreciate the extra cushioning that these are giving me. They're showing zero signs of wear and tear so far. I don't drag my foot as much in padel or pickle as I do in squash, but still they're holding well together. You can see there's some blue pedal dust on these shoes. What can I show you? They're just have great lateral stability and great cushioning and they're a bit high off the ground. You can see the thickness of this, but I don't mind that on those outdoor courts. It's got a really nice insole, removable insole. If you want to put in some orthotics or switch out after you wear through the through the original. So although these are heavy, I like the, the protection on my knees and I'm gonna keep using these in both of those outdoor sports. They are non-marking, but I don't plan on using them for squash just because they are a bit heavier than I really want. Next, the Salming Recoil Strike. These are actually squash shoes. John from Salming was kind enough to give me this pair to review and I got them at the tail end of the squash season. I didn't really want to change my shoes like at that time because there was tournaments coming up and stuff. So I kind of sat on these for a while and I decided to use them on the pedal courts because we have this like white clothing rule at the club, the country club that I play at. And these are just look nice uh, with the white clothing. So that's why I started using them. I also noticed that they have a lot of, a lot of padding, which is great. Like I said, for those outdoor courts, I just like a little more padding. They're holding up really well and the grip has been excellent. So I'm actually really enjoying these and they're pretty light. They're lighter than they look, about 385 grams. So a little on the heavier end of where I would like my squash shoes to sit, but still within a good range. So I'm planning to try these out in the fall on the squash courts. I'm gonna probably come back with a separate review of these, but so far I've really liked them on the pedal courts. Next, we have the Asics Gel Tactic. I have a separate review of these if you want in-depth view of how these perform on the squash court. But in this video, I'm just gonna talk about them on the pickleball courts. I tried them out because they are, they have good cushioning. These weigh about 385 grams, so they're a little on the heavier side, but not, but not into the 400s. Um, so it's a pretty good compromise level. I use these pretty much just for pickleball. I think I might've thrown them onto the pedal court once in a while, but these just gave my knees a lot of support on the outdoor courts. You can see that the treads have started to wear down. They had very good grip while I was using them. And one thing I've noticed with pickleball is like, there are pickleball shoes out there, but really any court shoe will work. Any squash shoe will work for, for pickleball. And like earlier in this video, those, those K-Swiss are actually tennis shoes. You know, those work for pickleball. So really everything works. You don't need like a pickleball specific shoe necessarily, except for the one problem is that, you know, maybe the gum rubber is gonna go a little faster on an indoor court shoe when you're outside in the elements of the pickleball court. But anyway, I really like the Asics Gel Tactic for pickleball if you want some good support for your knees. Next up, we have the B-Dog Sport Bulldogs. I have a separate video review of these for squash. They are advertised as being for squash or pickleball. I tried them for pickleball after the squash testing. They are quite light, about 340 grams. They feel very fast around the court. They're pretty low profile, decent cushioning, but not as much as the other shoes. I kind of prefer these on the squash court just because of how the amount of cushioning is a little bit less than maybe some of those other big boys that I just showed you. And this would sometimes hurt my heels and knees when I'm bounding around on the 
pickleball court, but it was still a pretty good option. Like I said earlier, really any shoe that works on the squash court is gonna be fine on the pickleball court. But for me, as I'm 47, I want that little extra knee protection. So these did a good job for me for like several months on the pickleball courts and I played in some tournaments with them. So I liked them, I liked the performance of them, but I'm, I tend to lead towards a little more padding for my pickleball shoes. And finally, an old pair of Asics Gel Fastball 3s. I had previously used these on the squash court and I decided let's try them on the Padel and pickleball courts. Uh, these are 315 grams, so the lightest of the bunch. And the grip was good on these, but much like the B-Dog and Bulldog shoes, the padding was just not enough for outdoor courts for me. These are pretty thin. It doesn't bother me on the squash court. In fact, I love it on the squash court, but I just need a little bit more on the pickleball courts. Again, any court shoe is probably going to do just fine in a pinch. I wouldn't necessarily recommend these for pickleball and padel, but the grip was fine and they would work in a pinch if you have them. I would just recommend if you want a little more knee padding to protect yourself that's probably going to do your uh, do your body good over the long term okay that's it for now stay tuned for more on the pickleball and padel scene as i keep playing these sports i'll put links in the description below this video on youtube if you want to sort of see more about these on squash shorts i'll see you in the next video okay bye